Hey, what's up guys? It's time for another tutorial today. And today we're going to do this underwater world. And this is something I needed for my upcoming project. So I thought I'd do a tutorial how I did the background too. And you can see a preview of my upcoming project. And if you don't want to miss that, don't forget to subscribe. But for now guys, let's jump into the tutorial. We're going to add a new composition here. So uh, whoop, make a new composition, press OK. Then we're going to new, add, add a new layer here. We're going to add a solid. We can call it um, BJ, well, background. And then we're going to add um, an effect here. We're going to add a um, gradient ramp. Ramp is easier. Gradient ramp, like so, drag it down. And we're going to change the colors. We're going to have a blue tone here. But there, like so. And we're going to change this to a darker blue. Around there. Like so. Maybe can this be a, even a little bit brighter. Like so. Then we can move this a little bit to the side. Like so. Perfect. And then we're going to add a noise. So we can drag this down to the layer. We can set this to 1% like so. Fine. Now we're going to add a new layer. We're going to add a new solid. And we can call this uh, bubble. So. And now are we going to add a new effect here? We're going to add a um, foam. So we're going to drag it down like so and now we're going to go into the producer let's see here we can set this to um, 0.5 see we can drag this up to max like so and we can then drag it down a little bit further down then we then we can see it like so i don't think we need to change anything more there we can go into the size here let's see 0.1 going to be fine we can drag this up to a maximum and bubble speed we can set this that to one and we can drag that that up to max um initial speed that's fine wind speed here should we have 1.5 in direction that should be zero so it's going up we want the bubbles to go up uh, turbulence we can drag this down a little bit uh, wobble i think that's fine we can drag this to zero uh, viscosity we should have one here like so uh, we can drag this to zero i think that's fine let's see we're going to universal size rendering and we're going to change the bubble to we're going to have um, soda water. Um, I don't think we need any to change anything more there. Let's see. Um, we have we can drag this back like so, so we get the bubbles going. And drag that up again like so. Let's see how this looks. It looks blue, but. Um, this because we're going into a reviewing in draft mode so we'll go, let's go over to um render it like so and we can set the layer to um screen like so doesn't look too bad not too bad we're going to add a little bit we're going to add a hue and saturation let's see we can drag that down like so we can decrease the saturation a little bit like so that looks fine not too bad now can we do like so we go up so and we can mark this layer and uh, press ctrl d to duplicate the layer and now we're going to go in here and change a little bit let's see we go into the producer. We need to decrease this to 
let's see let's twist out with dot one like so and we're going to go into bubbles we need a bigger size dot three five maybe let's see yeah not too bad see how this looks we can go up here to drop so we can see which one is one uh, i think there's too much bubbles let's see dot oh one that looks much better not too many bubbles but it maybe should be dot one of five i think that's good and you can go over to render again like so i think we should go into the physics we need to change the turbulence maybe to down there and wobble amount we can decrease that even further like so i think that's fine i think we should do like so we're going to human saturation and um, lower the brightness a little bit like so minus eight i think that's fine let's see how does that look not too bad i think we is fine there but now can we add a new layer let's see we need a new solid and we can call this uh, water because we want to have a little bit uh, of um what can we say we need a little bit of um movement in the background so we're going to add a fractal noise here fractal noise let's see here fractal noise we drag that down like so and now are we going to let's see here let's set the brightness down a little bit to around there let's see here transform yes we're going to transform and we're going to scale it up a little bit let's see i think there's fine and now we're going to evolution so hold down the alt key and press here and now we can we type down here we're going to set time asterisk 150 like so so let's see and see so it gets right so we get time asterisk 150 like so so we can see you have a little bit movement over there and now we're we going to do like so we're going to set this layer to um soft light like so and we can mark the layer and press um, t for opacity and then we can set this to around let's see let's 12 do i think it's good let's see here how does that look not too bad I think that's quite good. I don't need to tweak this anymore for this tutorial, so it doesn't take too long time. So I think we are satisfied here. So this is the underwater world with bubbles. Hope you have learned something today guys, and if you're ever going to use this in your product, would it be fun to see? So leave a comment below so everybody can see your cool product. And don't miss my upcoming tutorial with this background. But for now guys, it's time to say, over and out.